Well, probably no country knows more about hydroponic growing than Israel. With few natural resources, the Israelis have developed their agriculture industry indoors and oftentimes without soil. Here's our Jessica Lowe. Rivers are few and water often scarce in Israel. But it's such a valued necessity to Israeli agriculture that not a drop goes to waste. Everywhere we went, we saw drip systems, you know, low-tech drip systems, but still vital for maintaining the greenery around uh, all of the facilities. You can really see the power of pooling your resources. The, the bottom line is that uh, uh, they really need to value every drop of water they have and to, to get it any which way they, they, they can. These Oklahoma scientists are studying Israeli agriculture and evaluating practices that could be implemented here. The crops flourish, they do everything they can to reduce evaporation. Um, just that uniqueness about uh, Israeli agriculture is something that was really important. How do you do that? Well, the, shape of the, uh, the, shape, the, shape. the shape of the tray, there are channels in it, and uh, it uh, allows us to produce a much, much better product. With its clever use of natural resources, Israel is a world leader in hydroponics, the process of growing plants and vegetables in water instead of soil. Cheapest uh, aquatic plants, okay, the, the pistia, but look at the amazing uh, root system. And with only 17 percent of Israeli land suitable for farming, such alternative growing methods are not only innovative, but necessary. Because of this, we com can compete. Ernest Danziger is one of Israel's largest greenhouse growers, and he says since switching to soilless farming, exports to the United States have been easier. This is kind of a protection, yes, which every country does for its growers, because actually you don't grow today on the soil anymore. So with their great respect for water and natural resources, Israeli agriculture has grown into a prosperous farm economy.